So today what I wanted to talk about is how to really be successful on YouTube. And the number one thing you can do is to make a channel about something that you are actually passionate and interested in, okay? Um, and so this is the case whether you're downloading or reposting videos like I do or whether you're making your own content, which I do as well. Um, so no matter what you're doing, you want to be passionate about what you're making videos about because if you're not, then you're going to get bored. You're not going to want to make videos about it and you're just not going to have a good time. And so even on the videos where I download and repost videos, I have three channels where I do that. And if you want to know all about what the videos are, what the channels are, what the niches are, I teach all about it in the master class as well as what tags, titles, thumbnails I use, where I get my videos, all of those types of things are in the master class. But the thing is, I picked three niches that I'm passionate about. You guys know I picked conspiracy theories. That's one where I could literally watch videos on that all day long. I already know the audience. I know what they like because I am the audience, okay? I've been watching them for years. I enjoy watching them, right? Um, and so because of that, I don't think it's annoying to make videos on it. I don't think it's annoying to watch videos on it and then find ones that I think would be good to use because I have fun doing it. And so today I'm gonna show you guys some examples of some other people who are using this to their advantage. You always do things better if you're passionate about it. So that's something you definitely wanna keep in mind because if you start making a channel and start downloading and reposting videos on stuff you're not interested in, you know, you might have fun for a few days and then, you know, after a couple weeks, you might, you know, find a little bit of success making money. But then as the months pass by, you're going to be making money, but you're going to be posting these videos tediously about things that you have no interest in. Okay. And so you don't want to do that. You can be successful in any niche on YouTube. And so one of the things I wanted to show you guys here. Uh, number one is Wrestle Talk. Okay, so this guy just literally makes videos about wrestling. So he just gets the latest news from wrestling and then he just makes videos on it. And that's all he does. And, you know, to him, that's probably really fun to do. Um, it turns out he's making a lot of money doing it, but he's having a lot of fun doing it as well. Why? Because he's interested in wrestling, okay? So, you know, a lot of wrestling fans, they'll go on and they'll look at news uh, articles for wrestling every day on a daily basis. So all he's doing is finding news that he thinks is interesting, and then all he's doing is discussing the news stories okay but since he is passionate about it and enjoys it he makes videos constantly because he doesn't consider it work and at the same time um you know he's having fun doing it and so he's able to do it better because it's something he enjoys it's something he's knowledgeable about and so if you look 325 million 344 851 so if he were to put an ad every about two minutes he would get a 10% click-through rate there, which would be 32 million clicks. You multiply that by three cents. Look at that. $976,000 is what he, uh, if he put an ad every two minutes, would be getting, okay? And so he's probably made at least half of that, somewhere around $400,000, $500,000, almost half a million dollars just by making videos on something he already enjoys. So there's one idea. Another thing here is this guy. He makes videos about NASCAR. This is smart because there's not very many people making videos on NASCAR. NASCAR is pretty popular. Um, there's a lot of fans in NASCAR, but there's not that many people who make videos on NASCAR. So this guy does the same thing. He takes news from wrestling and he made, or news from NASCAR, just like that other guy, and he makes videos about the news from NASCAR. Okay, you can tell he's a diehard NASCAR fan. His whole room is nothing but NASCAR. So do you really think that he dreads making these videos? No, he enjoys it. And because of that, he makes them more often, which helps his channel grow. And he's smart about what he's talking about because he's already a fan of it. He doesn't even have to do much research. You read one news article and you know exactly what to say because you're already interested in that topic. And then on top of that, he is actually, you know, making good content because he enjoys it. And so you, that passion comes out in the video. And so even with a topic like this, which NASCAR, like I said, is a good one to do because not that many people make videos on it. So he's had 57,975,887. And you saw he had about maybe six ads in that video. So that's close to an ad every two minutes. And that will get you a 10% click-through rate and multiply that by three cents. And that's $173,000. Um, that he's probably made just by literally talking about things that he's already passionate about and enjoys. 
Another one, same thing. This guy does the same sort of thing. He plays rest, or racing video games, um, eye racing, things like that, which is something I play as well. You can see my motion simulator right here um, that I got. But in here, he also makes uh, videos about racing as well, um, like that other guy did, and he has ads on there as well. And so on this one, he's made probably, let's see, 14 million... 552, 521, and he might not be the greatest at ranking videos, but still, 43,000, wouldn't you like to have 43,000 a month, or a year, or, you know, just an extra $43,000 just by making things that you're already interested about. Here's another one I like to watch, uh, Think Media. So, basically, he's interested in cameras and microphones and lenses actually you know the new camera and lens setup that i got as long as with the lighting setup i got were all ideas that came from think media um and you know he's actually very knowledgeable and gave me really good advice on what i should buy when i was upgrading my setup and you can tell that the passion that he has for these topics comes out as well not only that but he's able to like some of these other guys i'm sure that they have merch and things like that where they sell shirts and stuff along with their channel so those are other opportunities to make money think media he does a lot of affiliate links so he can affiliate link you to whatever he does basically he'll do a camera review and then he will literally link to amazon the affiliate link for that product so that's a really good way that he can make money for that then he has a channel another channel where he talks about building youtube channels and he sells courses on that as well so he's got a lot of income streams coming in and it's all around things he's passionate about so on this channel he's made for, uh, 49 eight two nine seven nine seven times 0.10 times 0.03 about 149,000 there if you put an ad every two minutes or so um, and that's not even counting all the affiliate sales he probably gets and all of those type of things so there's another guy who's just showing what he's passionate about um, and then another one here Karen and Nate so they travel and so they are one of the people I really studied when I wanted to make travel videos and so if you look here, they just have a travel video every day. You can tell they're extremely passionate about traveling. And it shows in their channel because they have one of the best travel videos I've ever seen. Um, and so if you look here, 83831651 times 0.10 times 0.03 about two hundred fifty-one thousand dollars, and I actually they have income reports and I've actually read their income reports and that's very close to what they actually have stated over the past three years that they have made on YouTube so um, that's definitely a very accurate statistic because they actually have a website where they say how much they've made but those are just a few examples guys of if you want to do this whether you're making your own videos whether you're copying and reposting videos no matter what it is Pick a niche that you're actually passionate about and interested in so that it doesn't become dreadful to do. You will uh, do better at it. You will be more consistent with your posting schedule. You will have a lot more fun doing it. And then you can make money doing something I should ha actually have fun with instead of if I were to do makeup or Barbie dolls or something I don't care about. I'd be like, man... Kind of sucks that I'm spending, you know, half an hour to an hour every single day making these Barbie doll videos that I don't care about, right? So, you know, those are just some things to keep in mind. If you want long-term success, this is a good way to do it. Hopefully, it's helped you out. Course is going up on Sunday. I'm about to go play tennis. I'm in a tennis league, and I have my third match of the year coming up. I'm one and one so far, um, so I'm excited to go play some more tennis. I love playing tennis. It's fun. I'm out. Thanks a lot for watching. Peace.